comfort, I would show this because this should, it has been filling itself naturally, although I've picked the wrong way to do this. It's a bit of a, yeah, it, oh, actually, I think it was filling. Yeah, I think we have to actually go over the little things, which is bizarre. But it did fill from this. It's not. Perhaps so, because I haven't got this by the proper big bag thing, although no, I don't think it really did ever, that really mattered. So, well, let's stick it where we know that it does fill from normally, which is right about here. Yeah, it seems to only want to fill if you're inside. That. I don't know if that's too high, but we'll have a look. No, no, it's happy with that. Yeah, it's very specific, the Estrella, which now I know that. It, it, I have, I've got to be honest though, I did do this on the Estrella, um, or hover things around on Rumba, so at least it has been fixed. Because, yeah, it, uh, this is going to be a massive asset, especially if we're going to do any. You know, I'm surprised we haven't got any seeding contracts, truthfully. Yeah, it's all bailing contracts. Seems to be on FS22 that on most maps that I've been recently, when I'm doing contracts, one of the most prevalent contracts seems to be bailing. Almost like the other contracts are going wrong, which is a bit bizarre. Yeah, let's get this, what we can get this in anyway, and then there's a bit of a top up. Yeah, I'm trying to be careful because we have really, really low on money, but yeah, I was. And we're going to have to lease a harvester, so I'm hoping that we're going to get some kind of... Even if it is bailing, I love bailing anyway, but I was trying to give it, give myself a bit of a break from the and your cells, because it features almost on all of my Let's Plays that I do grasswork a lot. So it's sometimes nice to give you a break from it as well. Although I suppose it does go with... Yeah, it does go with the game, doesn't it, really, to be honest. And I, I personally do love doing it, so I'm really... I'm not bothered myself. But yeah, sometimes I enjoyed that on Hobo's Hollow, actually. I didn't do that particular aspect. I left it alone. Right, so we're going to literally plant... Let's have a look. I'm sure... Yeah, this is the last field, isn't it? I'm sure it is. I'm hoping that I've got this field leveled to the point where everything's okay. Right, so if we stick this here on the edge of the field, we should be able to back up to it as well. Right, Landini. Let's get this... Do we do this as standard worker? see how the standard workers go for everybody's benefit could well do I do think we are going to seriously devour, now we need to stick this up, no it is on auto, I can see it, so let's just top that up the last little bit because it's going to go through this like it's gone ah. Ah, unless it's the front ah, it may well be right, you know let's eject from the back because they say that it makes the bags collapse if you do it the other way. But we'll leave those there, then it's something that that can actually top up with. Yeah, refilling from the fertiliser spread of the AC8, this is exactly the one that I had on Horbelleron. And it, it's fine topping up that from those bags, but you top the samurai up and it kept splitting them on the fields, uh, which was really annoying because obviously you have got no rights to yeah, get things off the uh, fields so it was annoying because we were wasting uh, how good the price is of the line for, for this uh, on other people's field which means you're losing some of the profit of the liming contracts so, oh ah oh. still something never seen that before but yeah, it did happen earlier as well, so a bit of a weird one. It's spilling what's left of the boat. Luckily, on our own land, at least, we can actually do something about it. Right, we will, we'll, yeah, we'll lime those with the wrecks. We may well have to change the size of the AC-8 as well. Like, um, by which I mean, oh no, the spread should be alright, actually. I have seen Mr. CLP do that, yeah with the limer to go in between the lines properly. Ah, uh, do we use a standard worker or do we not? Because this, this has got the possibility to drop us into water. So I think we're going to try for course play. Right, I do actually to see how we fare. Now 
and course play have I got no not for this yeah the setting for use fertilizer spreader is absolutely fine right we want to go and see how course play fair uh, it's like course play is not ah okay well that's interesting it's like course play which I've never ah. Okay, so it's now found it. I think one headland max, if it lets me do that at all. Yeah, that should be alright. There's no weirdness. So we need to, first of all, create a folder. Which is all... Oh, what field number is it? Fields 2. Create a new folder. Fields 2. And save the course... 42. Activate. Ah, you have to come out and go in. It's one of those little annoying things of course play. When you've created the folder, it does not let you do it. You have to go out and back in again. Having... <laughs> yeah. You, you, you get used to these things. Right, okay, so then let's get rid of your... Uh, why can I not... Get rid of the start and stop. I've never seen that before. You're not allowed to. Okay, well, that, that's a unique one. I've never seen that, of course. Let's just make sure everything's okay. We are on auto still. We are indeed. Right, let's leave course play to that one. I would no doubt we'll be back in a minute. Yeah, to uh, actually. But we're going to get cracking. Let's get this to oats. I can't remember the last thing that we had on it. We have still got oats. Ah, we do want some seeds. Let's do that quickly. Let's drop you down. There's not much left, to be honest. So, seeds. Now, then, this is the only thing about the big bag handler any of the, the strappy type mods is that you cannot, yeah, you, it's very graceless in taking things off the trailer, because obviously the straps grab the trailer as well which is, yeah, why Giants actually opted for that but then I, I do in a way, I suppose it's because the straps can now grab things, now can I be clever will it let me, if I go above oh, I know what setting that is Yes, I did see that in editing, and I meant to change it. To be honest, that's the when they're buying the fertilizer, it done off. Came your money. That one, I believe. Yeah, we need to be switching these off. Yeah, probably struck. I didn't show these, did I? Yes, I've got everything. Now let's stick that to normal. Trailer fill limit off, yeah, because it does weird things. Dirt all goes slow because it really doesn't make periodic plow. That's the only thing I'm going to leave that off as well. Periodic plow. So one thing that I always find you've always still got to plow after um, ah direct selling price factor. Oh, that's selling price. Okay, yeah. Let's see. Can what if I angle this cleverly? Will it let me? Yeah, miss the trailer. Technically, it should do really if I can get my angle right without. Yeah, let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, you see, you can. Right, okay. That's, that wasn't what I was aiming for, but it does actually work. I, I have no doubt that would take quite a bit of fine tuning, though. I'm not sure if it's going to like this with me having two. We should see how it does this, how it uh, takes the seeds or not, as the case may be. Let's have a look. No, it's happy with that. It's not sure which one it's going to take from first. Right, so actually, let's get the telehandler out. And we are going to sow our work now. That is a point. Is the, how is the worker doing? They, oh no, I still see the icon. Ooh. Ooh. Right, stick that over there. Hoping we've got enough fertilizer. This is 
after all the last fields. We have done all of the others. Yeah, I've got to remember the green halo above is the one. It's, it always confuses me, this particular pack, because of what's on them. Yeah, I always think that's the seeds as well. It's the green halo above, the growing sort of plant icon is. I always think that they're both seeds or both fertilizer. Right, let's, uh, let's close those and let's go straight into a time lapse and we'll get this last field done. Right, so I am going to say my words. I want to see you guys and gals on the other side.
and there we were done. I'm going to do the groves, but I'm not going to do them this session because that's going to be quite a lot of work in itself. Yeah, we're going to, uh, we're going to do it properly, just the spread width and all that type of thing for the narrow bit. So I take my time and obviously get the wrecks. Well, actually, the wrecks is already there, but yeah, uh, I'm trying to think. I'm not sure if the wrecks have got, we may have to adjust the weight of this. I grab the telehander and keep topping up the line, bring me lorry over, we'll do it properly. Yeah, I thought this has been a quite a long, well, a very long session to be honest. We have, it's been a very productive session though I might add, truthfully, and love the Australia. I'm so happy that that is actually working. Yeah, let's have a quick look, I'll, I'll bail out so I can finish the rest, literally uh, off camera, just grabbing everything. Let's have a look at the, uh, ooh, glad we saw that, I don't want that at all. Let's have a look at Precision Farm. I have got crop rotation on as well. Uh, obviously the plan is not at present. So let's have a look. We've got a fantastic soil types. As I've already said, that is fantastic. pH is perfect. Apart from a few tiny little corners. And nitrogen is perfect for the crop. Apart from field 3 where we missed going around that outer edge. And do you know we're going to leave it? It is what it is. Yeah, definitely. We're going to... No, that's funny because the olives said that they were okay, so perhaps they are for olives. Let's have a quick look. It just said the pH was terrible. Yeah, nitrogen perfect, crop rotation perfect. Smashing, so we should get a nice bonus as well from harvesting that. So, fantastic session with up to 32,582. We've pulled every sort of stump that we possibly could. We've still got a little bit of lime. I think we've got enough lime to do our, um, yeah, all of our crops. Maybe one contract. Got quite a bit of seeds and a little bit of fertilizer. Yeah, but probably enough to do, yeah, the fertilizing is done. So, needs rolling. We, well, we haven't got a roller anyway. And of the things that we need, I think that's the least of our worries. I, I think I can definitely uh, cope with the loss. Oh, I must have done, done a mistake with my crop rotation. Ah, I think it did, didn't it? I had oats already, so I've lost the bonus, the rotation bonus. Oh, well, it is what it is. I should have seen and paid attention, but it, it's done. Yeah, we're still going to get a bump of crop, so... Yeah, it did work very nice. There were no patches that were missed with doing this. The true test, though, is the harvest. I think we're all right. I can't see any horrible, really horrible things. But, yeah, the undulations are still there. I haven't uh, softened to the point of silliness. Yeah, it still still looks good. But I am going to say, I truly do hope that you're going to stick with me. So next session, we are going to be doing the recycling. And we are also going to be... I'm not going to do... You know, we've got all the way till October to do these. I'm not w rushing or worrying about the liming. I would like to get the um, productions going. Yeah, being as we know that the soap is a fantastic one. And then I'd also like to um, put... Let's have a look at field prices. That's one thing I haven't done yet to see... If we were, yeah, let's let's first of all pick the right section. I'm not not seen prices yet. Eighty three. It's not Rombos pricing. That's right next to huh? Two hundred and seventy eight. As these groves, ah. No, no, it's, the pricing seems fairly consistent. Yeah, oh, wow, actually, yeah. This is a very, obviously, a very rich area that uh, does, uh, yeah, wow, that's a small, oh, no, it's not It's not as a small a field as you think. Nah, okay, field six, which is a grass field, which is still a fairly big field, is definitely better, so... And, and it's all loam, so I think if we were going to buy one... Field six would be the way to go. 173. And, oh, that's got to be some sort of production. Must be. So if we were going to buy, I would say field six. Yeah, that's field seven still got good value as well. We did actually pass that as we were going to the shop. So, wow. Field six, I think. Maybe not for grassland. I say I'm trying to avoid the grass uh, to a degree, although, yeah, we, we shall see. I, sometimes you make these 
decisions. But then again, if we, yeah, I would like to stay clear of the BJ business. It's not because I'm sick of it, but because you may be sick of it. Yeah, I don't mean nasty, but it's it's the one that I would normally do. And we've got new production, so I'm trying to steer clear and stick to the model. I always do say this on the Let's Plays. Stick to the model that you've got. We've already got two productions, so what I'm thinking is this field here. Let's jump that. But I'm thinking the Omatana. I may, I did think about this. Yeah, I don't really want to do forestry per se. But we could clear out the middle of this little forest where it gets a little bit thicker. Leave these lovely boulevard of trees. Yeah, truthfully. But in this bit here, where it goes to a bit more of a forest, just in the middle, and maybe put a couple of a very small beginnings of a vineyard. Yeah, definitely, I think that might be the way to go. So we may well do a little bit of that, but we shall see. We'll see, time permitting, yeah, definitely. I would like to do that, though. That is the truth. So we shall see. Let me just show you what I'm on about. We'll just sort of, yeah, see... Well, yeah, where we could, I mean, again, I don't mind taking the odd one of these bushes out if it's going to mean we can actually, so it is, production, is it greenhouses, I think it is, here we are, the grape orchard, they're not terribly large, we could actually scatter them actually, yeah, already, have two or three of these and maybe thin that out a little. I think I'm right. I think what I'd like to do perhaps a row of them there through here. A little terribly, terribly tiny. More like a grape garden than a grape vineyard, but with a few of them I think we'll do alright. So I think thin the middle, but leave the trees around the outer edge as uh, as like a little tiny thing. But yeah, I think that's, that's the way to go. But I'd like to get that done sooner rather than later. Uh, we, if we're going to do that, eventually I'm going to go into the exotic gardens, but again, you've got to walk before you can run, definitely. So I think we'll definitely put a few of those down and get some sort of irrigation uh, system sorted, and I'd like to do that sooner rather than later. So productions, including those, but no, no, not including those, because they've got to clear some trees. Although I suppose we could... We could clear the trees and sort them out later. I suppose we could, I could chop them, but that reminds me, if we're gonna do that, I am gonna need to buy a chainsaw. Am I gonna be cheeky and go for my favorites? <laughs> Wink to Star Wars, or I'm gonna keep it realistic. For your sake, I'm gonna keep it realistic, but I am going to warn you, one of these times I am gonna use the uh, lightsabers. I just can't resist it, yeah, but I'll, I'll, I will go a wink in the right direction. Yeah, I'll go for my usual, I love the color of the John Sarah, not because of I favor it itself, but yeah. Oh, and also, one thing I would like to do, no, I'm, uh, yeah, I've decided I'm not gonna do, I always play that I've got tanks in the back of my um, tractors and I use a uh, the water gun. I do, I like that because I often jump out, but I think we're going to go for a traditional fixed one at the yard and get into the habit of cleaning them every time we go back to the yard. Right, so I am going to say thank you very much for watching. I truly do hope that you stick with me on this very exciting preview of this beautiful map. Agre. Balconis. Hopefully I'll have done that a little bit more than I did the first time I said it, but yes. Yeah, we'll uh, get this, um, yeah, I will, but I don't, yeah, we'll use the proper tractor. I don't somehow, uh, that is a point actually, looking at this, this, will this go through the width of the um, grove? Because I mean, although this tractor is not supposed to be one of those, the bottom line is the actual, yeah, the limer, <laughs> it still needs to go through, which is the same width as the tractor, so let's just have a go. I mean, I'm not, not literally, I am going to be using this, but this is it's more about a, a test to see if the equipment will actually go in there.
you could technically use a tractor, but in real life you would risk damage. So it will work. That, that, that's all I really wanted to know. We're not going to use the big tractor. We have a proper tractor, thanks to JM Gaming and this choice of equipment. So, yeah, we should use the little Lamborghini Rex, one of my absolute favourites. Do we need to up? I don't think we do need to up its horsepower. At the least we should. I don't think so. It does go up to quite a respectable horsepower, if I remember rightly. 112, 117, something like that. Small, small tractors. Let's have a look. I do like the Rex. I've used it. 112. I was right. Yes, 112 horsepower it goes up. So it's quite a respectable little thing. Yeah, I did use it as my fertilizer uh, with a bit of weight shifted in the right place. It was a very. Now, whose engine's running? not you it is that anyway let's not worry about such things yeah yeah comments I always invite comments truly would love to hear what you sort of say and what you'd like to see especially with this being a brand new map well a preview of a brand new map by JM gaming so yes please uh, leave me any comments and tell me what you think and where you'd like us to go and I'm gonna say goodbye for now <laughs>